Hello and welcome back to another Shogun 2 game mechanics video. I am Der Rote and today we're gonna have a look at the swooping crane ability of the bow cavalry. So what does that do? It makes it so this unit, the, the bow cavalry, will run in a circle and fire a, uh, a constant stream of arrows at the enemy instead of volley fire. And as you can see here, now my range is just at the front of me, now it becomes a full circle. That means they, are, they can fire in any direction while they keep running around, although this will take some stamina away from them, so gotta keep looking at that. I mean of course you can always improve their stamina, but that's not the point of this video. It doesn't really increase the damage, so if you're just fighting a stationary unit, or if you just want to kill a unit as fast as possible, I wouldn't recommend using this. But if you just want to put them in a battlefield somewhere so they can fire at any direction, that's where you can use it. But that's still not the main point of this video. In the encyclopedia it says something like, if you combine it with skirmish mode, your unit will stay away from the enemy melee units and constantly fire at them. And they will keep their distance. And in order to show that, I've prepared a Yariyashigaru force over here that's gonna charge me. So let's toggle skirmish mode and let's attack these guys. So as soon as they are in range, they will form a circle. And as you can see here, instead of volley fire, they will fire in a constant stream of arrows. I mean, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And like I said, it doesn't do more damage than just normal volley fire. But it's okay, and also it's pretty accurate, so it saves some ammo. But let's see if it can hold up what it promised. Because as you can see here, they're actually already closing the gap. Although they try to stay away from them, my bow calf, they try to stay away. But the Ariyashigaru are getting pretty close. Oh no! Some of them are, are already getting caught. Lost three horses there. There's another one. Some more are getting caught. And now the formation is completely broke. Broken, I mean. Oh well. That was a shameful display. What went wrong there? And if I speed up now, you will see. If I don't interfere here, I will lose my entire unit. Shameful display. Yeah, right, shameful display. What went wrong there? Was that my fault? Maybe their ancestors from about four centuries ago can help us find out what we did wrong. Maybe they can do a better job. So now I've got some mounted samurai from the Rise of the Samurai campaign. And they are fighting the exact unit of Yari Ashigaru again. Max level Ashigaru, I should say. So they also got the swooping crane ability and skirmish mode. Let's see if they can do a better job. Okay guys, form up and now keep firing at them. Yeah, as you can see, it's not doing that much DPS, but it's pretty accurate. I mean, the good thing is the Ariyashi Goru don't have that much armor. But they're getting closer. Or are they? Oh, will you look at that? They actually keep their distance. And they stay away from them. Even though they keep running and running and running, they can't close this gap. Hmm. Well then, let's speed this up a little. Look at that, yeah, they keep circling and circling and they will never close the gap. Once they get close, they keep running away. And the only danger to them is getting cornered. So in this case, we gotta help them out a little. Send them away. Oh, oops. I didn't activate Swooping Crane again. Nah, come on guys. A bit more far away. Now Swooping Crane again. 
Their general has fallen. Oh, hey. Cutting blow. Great. And as you can see, they can keep their distance. All the time. My lord. And constantly My keep firing at the enemy. Why can they do that? Why not the book have from later centuries? Well, the short answer is size matters. In this case, the smaller the better. I've changed the unit size to normal, so now we've got a bow cavalry unit of just 40 men. Just 40 as the mounted samurai were before. Let's see if that's gonna make any difference. We're fighting against 100 Yariyashigaru. I mean, not units, but guys. So, let's toggle swooping crane and skirmish mode. And let's see if this is gonna make any difference. Now they will constantly keep losing men. While being under fire of a constant stream of arrows. Like I said before, this doesn't do that much more DPS. It's there for keeping your units safe. At least that's what they say. Let's see if this is working out. We can speed it up a little. And will you look at that? They actually do keep their distance. Constantly. And their only danger is to get caught right here at the corner. That's where you have to help them a little. To, let's say, put them over here. Then you can activate swooping crane again and they will keep their distance just like the same thing that happened with the mounted samurai before so this is not about the unit itself it's about the unit size and like i said the smaller the better i think the critical mass is about 50 guys i'm not so sure because if i try this with large unit sizes it still doesn't work they will still get caught but if you, if, if you lose some of your guys and then move them away, try to toggle it again, then suddenly it works again. If you lose until, like I said, about 50 guys, that's where the critical mass is. So, what can we take away from this? If you're playing vanilla Shogun 2 on normal sized units, then Bow Cavalry is actually an amazing unit if you combine it with Swooping Crane. You can just put your guys at the at the side of the battlefield, activate it and then constantly harass the enemy. And you don't have to worry about them anymore because if they get charged by melee units, if it, of course if it's not melee cavalry that's a different thing, but if they get charged by infantry they will just move away and keep firing and firing at the enemy. Another thing you don't have to worry about, as you can see, what I talked before. Their range is actually a circle. You don't even have to worry about lining them up anywhere. They can just fire at whatever they like. Also, if you're playing Rise of the Samurai, that's an amazing ability as well, even on ultra-sized units. But if you're playing Vanilla Shogun 2 with large unit, si large unit size or even ultra, then I would say avoid this ability. But as you can see, if it's normal size, it can be an amazing ability. Well, I hope you found this video informative, and if so, then please consider subscribing to my channel. There's gonna be more videos like this to come, and I hope to see you in one of them. Bye bye.